Ruck is going to be the one that is going to get the chances. Neither team looking like they want to hold on to it just yet, bouncing it in and out of the zone. Ireland trying to take the onus himself, steps inside, pass across, one time shot! What a goal, Samuel Tremblay assists Tyler Heinem after a silky move inside. Gets a two on one opportunity, and Tremblay does not miss those. 5 06 to play. Nice move by Heinem on Thompson, pass across, and Tremblay with a half knee down. Fires it into the yawning cage behind Nolan Kent. Storm up 1 0. Bit of time and space for the number 81. Now does chip and chase in. Critchlow steps up. Heinem lifts his stick. Critchlow wrap around goal. What a play! Dogged work from the number 9 and number 11. Turns the puck over down low behind the goal line. And Critchlow wraps it in. We'll get a great look from behind the goal. Heinem going in first. Lifts the stick. Critchlow picks it out of the out of the skates and wraps it in. Before Kent can blink, it's 2-0. around the back of the goal quick passing from Tremblay gets it back quick shot and it's in through the five hole Samuel Tremblay asking Heinem whether he took the touch he shakes his head and says no and Samuel Tremblay will take the handshake line down in front of the benches it's his second of the night and the third of the night for the storm Shot through the five hole, right through the wickets of Nolan Kent. And a bit of a broken play falls to the number eight. And just handcuffs the Blaze netminder, shooting through the screen of his own player. And Tri Tyler Heinem almost slapped that one home. Back to five on five hockey. He's got a bit of a two on one if he can get it to the back door. Instead, they go backhand and through the five hole. They make it 3 1. It's 6 13 to play just as the penalty ends. And they get their extra man back on the ice. They break in two on one. And half falling down. The backhand finds its way through the wickets. And they cut the lead to two. Two after Belfast took the 2 1 lead. They're about five minutes into the second period, and Fife still 1 0 up over the Sheffield Steelers. So played it to the Boars, and Freya puts pressure on behind the back of the goal. Stepping out in front, backhand's there, and it's in the back of the net, roofed high on the backhand. Blaze make it 3-2 with 2-0-1 left to play. A broken play from behind the back of the goal. And Tyler Kirkup, the number nine. Takes the deficit down to just one goal. Good to see the defence getting active. Backhand was fanned on and Blaze use the aerial route, drops Carney for him right out in front, backhand's there, it's in the back of the net. The signal is a goal and they've tied it up before the end of the second period, it's a 3-3 game. And in a flash, the Blaze have turned this game on its head. All momentum swings in their favour. It's Kim Talberg who had the final touch. I do wonder whether there is maybe. Well, looking on the replay, I thought there might have been a call for goaltender interference. And
shot from a tight angle is off the side of the net. And Sullivan and Talberg get tangled up. No penalty call, they get tangled up yet again. Still, the arms stay down for referees. Off the post and in. Blaze find a way to make it 4 3. Not long after the power play it goes in off the post. We'll have to take a look back on the replay as to who got the final touch, whether it was a tip in front or not. As Luciani camped out in front. Although it may have been Aiden Spelsey. Spelsey, sorry. Either way, the Blazers won't care. They've taken their first lead in the game. 